When we're talking about shadow weave, one of the really important factors is value. And being human beings, we tend to be attracted to color. And so we lose that concept of value. And that value means the contrast between the two colors, the saturation level of the two colors. And so we, when we look at two things like these two colors, we go, well, those look very different. They should be just fine for shadow weave. Um, you know, lavender and green, not the same. Well, <laughs> strangely enough, when we run these two um, yarns through a black and white copy machine, we see that in fact, these are both actually very light colors. So if we wanted a shadow weave that really was going to be more distinctive and really have more visual impact, this probably wouldn't, this probably wouldn't be a good choice. They're both light. So let's look at another idea. We're yarn shopping in our stash and we see, okay, well, let's look at these two. These look very different. I've got a rust and turquoise. You know, they're both really, you know, exciting. Two nice different colors. And there we go. Let's, let's have a look here. If we take those two, take a little sample of each one, put it either to snap, you could snap a black and white picture uh, of them with your, with your phone or your camera, or you could run it through a black and white copy machine. And we see that very little, very little difference in value. They're both saturated dark colors. And so again, if we use these two, they would kind of blend together. There would not be much contrast. Now, not to say that you always have to have a lot of contrast, but if you're thinking that these are going to be high contrast and you get them on the loom, you're probably going to be disappointed. So let's have a, let's have a look at number three for us here. Now, these two are more obviously higher contrast. So let's have a look. We'll prove, prove the situation and say, okay. So in fact, in fact, not only do they look like they're different, the black and white image is showing that they're quite different. This one is very saturated and this one is not. So this actually would provide quite a bit of, of contrast. It wouldn't be super stressed. This is not black and white, but it would provide a, a good amount of contrast. So that is um, the, way, uh, the way that I recommend that you check this. And I really recommend that you check it before you get it on the loom because, like I say, our eyes get fooled by the color and we, we, we think we're looking at two different things and we are, but we're not looking at two different values. So I don't, I don't actually have examples of these being woven, but I do have an example of this being woven. And this one actually did provide lots of nice contrast, enough contrast to really show the pattern distinctly without being, you know, completely uh, that black and white, very bold thing. So always, always, always test your value, test your value, unless you've used the threads before and you know it works. Again, it's not that you want to have, always I want to have high contrast. You want to control the amount of contrast and you don't want to be disappointed once it gets on the loom. But sometimes we do get disappointed. Sometimes now we, we didn't test it and it's on the loom and we're going, oh, that just does not have the contrast that I want. There's all, there's the, you always have the weft to save the day. So the, your weft can really make a difference. And so if you have dark and light, so these are two lights, but if we decide, if we get on there and say, okay, well, I can go with a darker dark and a lighter light, and the whole thing would, would develop more contrast and there would be more, uh, the, the images would be more apparent. So darker dark and lighter light is a good way, or even just one or the other. If I just went with a darker dark and that same green, it, it would um, pop the design a little better. So a good idea for, for um, saving, saving the warp. Once you get it on the loom, you're not going to have to rethread and do something else.